Hey guys, it's Jesse with FPSSquared.com. Uh, believe it or not, Black Friday is only one week away. Uh, really, Black Thursday is what what it is now, I guess. Uh, Thanksgiving Day is only a week away, uh, and that's when all the deals start. So I figured I would go over some deals that I think are worth your time. Uh, now, it's worth noting that I went through my local store's ads. I went through the ads for my local Walmart, Best Buy, GameStop, and Target. So, I say that because you may want to give your local stores a call before you go down there and try to get some of this stuff. Just check with your local stores to make sure their availability is the same as mine and that they're going to have the same sales. I don't think it'll be a problem for most. I think these are nationwide ads and nationwide sales, but just double check with them. But I, like I said, I don't think it'll be a problem. Um, so we're going to go by retailer. I'm going to start with Walmart. Uh, it's in no particular order. Uh, when we get to games, it'll be in price, but um, the first thing I want to start with is that Walmart, as well as everyone else mentioned, is going to have a Spider-Man and PlayStation 4 combo. Uh, it's just a standard PS4. It's not a pro, but you get the uh, the PlayStation 4 and the game Spider-Man for $199.99. And at Walmart, that actually starts on November 18th, and it runs through the 22nd. So it's actually a little, it starts a little early. Uh, Walmart's also going to have, if you're interested, a 65-inch 4K TV made by TCL. Now, they are a Chinese manufacturer, but from everything I've heard, they use pretty good displays and are pretty good TVs. Uh, this TV doesn't have HDR, but it does have that 4K resolution. Uh, it's going to be $398 from November 22nd through the 23rd, so that's a Black Friday only. Um, the Xbox One X, um, that's the like, that's the 4K, that's the one that can actually play games in 4K. That's going to be $399 at Walmart, so $100 off. And that also runs from the 18th through the 22nd, so you've actually got a little more time to get that as long as your, the supplies last at your local store. Uh, Walmart's also going to have a PlayStation VR Astrobot bundle. Uh, you get the headset and the game Astrobot. You don't get the move controllers. Um, I don't think they're required for every game, but for a lot of games, you'll need those. So you just get the game and the headset, but that's $199. That's actually not a bad deal. Uh, and that's running from the 22nd through the 23rd. Now, now I'm going to actually get into games. Uh, these all run only on Black Friday, 22nd through the 23rd. So for $12, you can get Fallout 4 for the Xbox One and PlayStation. If you never played Fallout 4, definitely worth it. That is a good price. Uh, Need for Speed Payback for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I don't like Need for Speed, but I know a lot of people do, so maybe that's worth checking out for you. Resident Evil 7 for the PlayStation 4 is going to be 12. Doom for the PS4. Battlefield 1 for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Now that would be, I mean, Battlefield 5 is about to come out, so, or is it already out? I haven't even been keeping up with it, but that is the previous game, which might affect, you know, your ability to get into a match. But Battlefield 1 is a good game, so $12 is not bad for that. It uh, looks like Borderlands is also going to be $12. Borderlands the Handsome Collection, and that's for PS4. Now, $17, is that's the next step up at Walmart. $17, they're going to have Diablo 3 Eternal Collection for the PlayStation 4. Monster Hunter World, which is actually, that's a pretty good deal. That game's not been out too long. I mean, it's been out for like seven or eight months, but that's a pretty newish game, one of the newer ones that they're going to be selling for $17. It's definitely worth getting. PUBG for the Xbox One, and eh, it's not a terrible deal, uh, $13 off. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I put that on there because I know a lot of people like Siege, but honestly, I don't think I would pay that for Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, next up, these are now this is where it gets really good. For $25, you're going to have God of War on the PlayStation 4, obviously only on the PS4. Um, that's a great deal. That's like a very critically acclaimed game so far this year. Until Red Dead came out, it was looking to be, and still is to be fair, a contender for a game of the year. So definitely worth the $25. Detroit Become Human, also a good game. Also only for the PlayStation 4. I really enjoyed that game. Uh, it's going to be $25. 
Far Cry 5, also a very good game. It's going to be $25 at Walmart for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Uh, the Crew 2 is going to be $25, but only for the PlayStation 4. Also $25 at Walmart, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle for the Nintendo Switch. Assassin's Creed Origins for the Xbox One, which is definitely worth $25. And Call of Duty World War II for the PlayStation 4. Um, and then $35, you're going to have the new Assassin's Creed. The Assassin's Creed just came out a month ago. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is going to be $35 at Walmart, and that is for the PlayStation 4 edition. And We Happy Few, also a pretty new game. Not getting great reviews, so I don't know how good it is. I haven't played it myself, but $35, it might be worth checking out. And that's for PlayStation 4. So that's what Walmart has. Uh, that's Walmart's... It's not their entire list. Um, you can check the ad yourself. It's available online. But that's the games that I think most people would be interested in and that I have experience in and can attest to, uh, with the exception of a few. Now let's move on to Target. Um, starting with TVs real quick. Target is going to have a 50-inch Philips 4K TV, and it has HDR for $250. Now that starts at 5 p.m. on Thanksgiving Day. That's what they call a door buster. So people are probably going to be fighting over that. But if you really are wanting a TV, 4K HDR, 50 inch, it's not bad, $250. Uh, they're also going to have a TCL, a 55 inch with 4K and HDR for $350. That also starts at 5 p.m. on Thanksgiving. Uh, Blops 4 at Target is going to be $45. That is definitely a good deal. Uh, $15 off for a very, very good game. I'll probably be personally picking that up. And they're going to have it for PS4 and Xbox One. But like the uh, like the TVs before, that's a door buster. You have to be there by, you know, that it starts at 5 p.m. And it'll probably sell out probably within 30, 40 minutes. Um... They're also, Target's also going to have the PS4 Spider-Man combo for $199.99. Starts at 5 p.m. on Thanksgiving. It would be better just to go to Walmart on the 18th. Uh, now they're going to have, Target is going to have a PlayStation VR with the Move controller and some games. I can't remember the exact games. You get two games, I think, with it and the Move controllers. And that's going to be $250. That's uh, not bad for, for the Move controllers and the headset. All right, so let's get into games at Target. Uh, for $15, they're going to have Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the Xbox One, uh, PUBG for the Xbox, so that's cheaper than what Walmart's offering. If you want to get PUBG, you may want to try Target. Uh, Overwatch for the PS4, $15. Doom for the PS4, $15. And Wolfenstein 2 for the PS4, uh, $15. Wolfenstein 2 is definitely worth the $15. You should pick that up if you can. Uh, looks like next price up, they're going to be $25. Uh, Assassin's Creed Origins for the Xbox One. Uh, Far Cry 5 for the Xbox One. Call of Duty World War 2 for the PlayStation 4. Um, I believe this is... Oh no, this is Detroit Become Human for the PlayStation 4. It's $25. And then Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle for the Switch for $25. Now, is that cheaper than Walmart? Let's see. Okay. Um, no, it looks like the Detroit Become Human and Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle are the same price at Walmart. And let's see here. For $30, they're going to have F1 2018 for the Xbox One. That's another game that I'll probably be picking up. And Shadow of the Mo Tomb Raider for PS4 uh, is going to be $30. That is definitely something I'm going to be picking up and getting. Uh, let's see. Next is $35. They're going to have Odyssey for the Xbox One. And We Happy Few for the Xbox One. If you have an Xbox instead of PlayStation, you need to go to uh, Target instead of Walmart to get that for a discount. Uh, next is Best Buy. They said on their ad all these prices are valid from November 22nd through the 24th. Um, now they actually have some interesting deals on consoles uh, where the other two before did not. Uh, they're going to have the Xbox One X Battlefield 5 Rush Edition. That's like a special 
uh, Xbox One X with like a gradient finish. And it comes with Battlefield 5 and a controller for $429. That's not bad. The uh, the the uh, Xbox One normally the Xbox One X is normally five hundred dollars four ninety nine so to get all that for four hundred and twenty nine dollars is a pretty good deal. Uh, again, that's Xbox One X with a cool like gradient finish if you're into that thing, and the Battlefield Five game and a controller for seventy dollars less than what just an Xbox One X would normally cost. Uh, they're also going to have this PS4 Spider-Man for $199.99. Uh, if you don't want the Xbox One X, they're going to have an Xbox One S, one terabyte, with Minecraft for $199.99. Uh, they're also going to have Black Ops 4 for $45 for the PlayStation 4. Uh, for $15, they're going to have Battle for Battlefront 2 for the PlayStation 4. Oh, I'm sorry. This is $15 or less. So this is actually a really good deal for Battlefront 2. They're going to have that for $7.99. They're going to have PUBG for $15. So there's even cheaper or even better alternative. Or is that how much it was at Target 2? Oh, I'm sorry. That's how much it was at Target 2. Um, L.A. Noir for the PS4, they're going to have for $15. And Borderlands, they're going to have for $15. Uh, for $20, they're going to have Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. So that's the cheapest we've seen that game so far. Uh, Far Cry 5 for the Xbox One. Detroit Become Human for $20. Uh, Monster Hunter World for the PS4, $20. I believe you could get that for $17 at Walmart. Um, let's see... Oh yeah, yeah, that was seventeen dollars at at Walmart. So, and so it would be cheaper to get at Walmart. Um, they're having Assassin's Creed Origins for the Xbox One for twenty dollars. Diablo Three Eternal Edition twenty dollars for the PlayStation Four. Resident Evil Seven Gold Edition twenty dollars for the PlayStation Four. Uh, the Crew 2, $20 for the PlayStation 4. Now, this is another game I'll probably try to pick up if I can. Uh, Nier Automata for the PS4, $20. And then the next prices up would be $25. They've only got one game I thought would be interesting. Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition for the Xbox One. And then for $30, they're going to have Shadow of the Tomb Raider for Xbox One. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey for Xbox One, and F1 2018 for the PlayStation 4. Uh, if you're also interested, they are going to have an NVIDIA Shield for $159.99. That's like NVIDIA's little handheld gaming uh, device that can stream things from PCs. And then, so last but not least, we've got GameStop. Their sale runs from the 18th through the 22nd. Uh, they're going to have PUBG for $20, the PS4 Spider-Man combo, $199.99. They're going to have God of War for $30, um, Detroit Become Human for $20, Horizon Zero Dawn for $10. Absolutely get that game if you haven't played it and don't, uh, and, and don't have it. Definitely pick it up for $10. And then the last two that I thought would be interesting. Uncharted 4 is $15. That's kind of pricey, in my opinion, for it. But uh, it's worth getting if you've never played that game. I think you should pick it up for that. And then Uncharted Lost Legacy is going to be $9.99. So that's everything that I thought would be interesting uh, to take a look at on Black Friday. Um, again, be sure to call your local stores and make sure that they're going to have you know what you want they'll tell you what they're gonna have on sale uh, they'll go over the ad with you if you really want them to but uh, yeah that's everything that I think you guys would like on the Black Friday sales uh, so be safe out there don't get run over people are absolute psychos yeah uh, if you can avoid the fucking crowds because they're absolutely insane just be careful and uh, see you guys next time hope you enjoyed the video